Dude, sick on it, bro. Well, it's a f***ing accurate, first of all. Here we are guys, we're starting on it again. It's raining, so I, I kind of stopped doing what I was doing. Got the springs out, and I got one of the bolts on each lower control arm, but like I said, it started raining, so I just kind of put it in a pause. So I got some Eibach drag springs that are gonna go in here, and some, I believe, BMR upper and lower control arms. And surprisingly, these shocks are, they look like new, so we'll sleeve that. And uh, I actually have some coilovers for up front. This car's gonna have full suspension, and I think that's gonna be awesome. Here we go, got the exhaust drop. So I had to drop the exhaust to get to the lower control arm bolts. Okay, let's dig through the parts department. <laughs> There's some control arms. Those are solid polyurethane bushings and BMR adjustable lower control arms. I have uppers in here too, but that's essentially what the lowers look like. So I'm gonna do that. This is why I'm putting it on there, replacing all that old junk. Um, well, the other arms are fine. It just needs new bushings. Lowers are in. I got the top disconnected. I just got rained out, so I'm not really gonna. I'm not gonna finish it today. I'm gonna wait till it stops raining. Cause I have to work out here. But got some progress done on this. Pretty happy with it. So once it's done, I gotta put the springs in, put those upper ones in, hook these back up, tighten everything down, and all the control arms are done. So I'm happy with that. But again, it got rained out. And here's the exhaust that's laying here. I'm not gonna put it back on because this, there's a little heat wrap right here and that literally was touching the fuel lines and I just don't trust that. So we're not even gonna put the exhaust back on because, well, it's not even gonna have exhaust on the car later on anyways once it's turbo. It's just gonna be a front bumper exit. Stopped raining so I figured I'd pick this back up got all the upper control arms out and then I drilled out the bushings I just use a drill it's got this drill in here just like this is right now. Drilling out that old bushing wasn't too hard popped right out so I'm gonna install the new bushings and control arms and springs and drop it on the ground I'll put wheels on it drop it back on the ground and yeah hopefully I can get this done today figured I'd give you show you guys really quick new all your thing bushings um, not much else to see so now I'm gonna put the arms in all buttoned up whole new rear suspension I'm excited well there we have it it was a long day we to get it done even though it was raining it's about to rain one more time so glad we got it done back on the ground started up it's actually pretty loud without the mufflers but that obviously goes without saying but yeah uh, I'm probably not gonna put those back on we'll see I might put just mufflers and then a little turn down um, before the axle or whatever I don't know we will see I'm not really in a rush for that so all new suspension in the rear the front has it will be all new suspension too so that'll be awesome I'm gonna do coilovers on that I've never done coilovers before but it really isn't hard so I'll video that and show you guys the process of putting those in. And um, I still need to do the five lug back there. And once that's done and the brakes are all done, then I'll be able to actually drive it a little bit. All right, I decided I'd continue off the video by doing some of the rear end. I'm gonna attempt to do the five lug on the rear. So right now I got the drums off and I'm getting ready to drain the diff fluid. And then the new axles in. Got jacked up. I can't really see that, but 
go. There's a good look. Alright, got the diff drained. Fluid. I'm gonna pull that cover all the way off. Just have it there so it doesn't splash everywhere. There she is. Show you guys. So I rotated the gears and I gotta take this little set screw out <clears throat> so I can take the pin out and center. So. There we go. Right, so I ordered these copper brackets for the SN95 conversion to mount the bracket to mount the coppers or whatever onto this this uh, actual housing anyways I bought this these uh, SN95 brakes on eBay like over a year ago and I completely forgot it came with the mounting brackets already on the dust shield so yeah I'm just gonna use those and definitely just return what I ordered because there was like almost three hundred dollars so yeah we're just gonna return return these. They're a nice piece, but $300 is a lot of money for something I already have. And these should work. If they don't work, then yeah, I'll put those on. Yep. Anyways, here's the brakes. And here's the, uh, I still had to, have to tighten the bolts, but that's what it looks like, essentially. And then I gotta slide a new axle in there, and then I can put the calipers and, um, rotors on. All right, guys, quick little update. I am actually using those new brackets I bought from Elmar. So good thing I bought them because the ones that came with my brakes, I don't know where, yeah, right here. Um, they needed to be stepped back, kind of like how these ones are, how they go back because um, otherwise the rotor rubs on the brake dust shield. And uh, yeah, so. It just works better that way, and it steps it back a little bit, and then, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm trying to get to. All I know is that these work, and then these don't. So, good thing I bought them. I'm not going to re be returning them. Kind of unfortunate, because I thought I was going to save $300, but whatever. Good thing I bought them. So, yeah. Okay. Figured I'd show you guys, in case you guys bought uh, SN95 brakes used, either from Junkyard or eBay or whatever, like I did. Um... <clears throat> new rotors obviously so as you saw I used the new brackets for the copper for the coppers back here so whenever you put the whenever I put the rotor on you can see the mark right there um, this copper mount was was touching the rotor with the, and the axles are in all the way I have the pin and everything set so the axles are they're all good so whenever you push the rotor in all the way, it was still touching the out. This uh, group, this lip right here, not really a lip, but this, this part of the um, copper uh, piece. So what I did was I just literally just shimmed it out with a couple washers. This washer here, if you can see that. It's a washer here and here on the bottom, and that was enough to um, have enough clearance so that it can spin. So hopefully that works. I still have to put the other, all the you know brake pads and the rest of the caliper on, but hopefully we'll see. I'll let you know whenever I have that set up. I'm gonna get get working on that shortly. So yeah, but both both the axles are in now, which is good. Um, both caliper mounting plates are on. And I again also another thing I had to do with these. These are the this piece right here with this. U-bolt uh, clamp, basically an exhaust clamp, but uh, it's an anti-moan bracket, basically. And uh, I guess with this uh, shock mount, uh, this piece was too long, so all I did was trim it, just trim it down. And then the other one, I had to actually take cut off the weld. 
for the because those clamps were just welded on just from factory it was just welded on here and it was it was out too far for the other side of the axle so i had to cut it off just cut that little weld i'm not even gonna weld it back on because it was just from factory it's just a it just clamps on there anyways so and i also cut i cut this shorter and then i'll be able to move this back for the other side of the axle housing so that's that's really it. just a couple modifications so far uh yeah i'm not the best at explaining things but Hopefully you guys got the gist of what's going on. Like I said, I'm learning as I go, so. Got the coppers on on both sides. Still gotta run the lines, but coppers and everything are on. It looks pretty good now. Just gotta get some lug nuts, put the wheels on, so. Yeah, and gear oil. All right, so I was told to just use this as a gasket sealer for the diff cover. Um, apparently it's good stuff. Well, it's the right stuff. But uh, only thing is, is this bottle was, was kind of screwed up. So, whatever. I got it to come out and it worked. Uh, I'll show you, diff cover's on, wheels are on. I had to get some new lug nuts because these are long um, studs. So I had to get lug nuts that are, weren't closed, closed off at the end. So they didn't bottom out. Uh, there you go, diff cover. Nothing crazy to look at, but everything's put back together. Uh, Still gotta fill it, so I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow morning. So remind me, guys. Remind me to fill that before I drive it. All right, it's on you. If you don't remind me, I'll be pissed. Anyways, yeah. So I gotta fill that and run soft brake lines, and I'm gonna actually run all new brake lines. Figured I'd clean up the rear sway bar since it was already off before I install it, clean it up, and throw a coat of paint on it. It's not perfect, but it's better than having a bunch of rust all over it. So. I just drew a coat of satin black, and it'll look alright under there. Nobody's gonna really get too close. So yeah, and we'll put it put it on and drop the car back on down for today. Don't mind that flat tire. I'll probably get new tires anyways. But um, e brakes on. E brakes all got the e brake in here. I got rid of that Hoosier line lock setup that was in here. So that's pretty cool. Finally got an e brake. It's all hooked up. Um, patched the holes that were uh, from the Hoosier line lock. They ran the brake brake lines through the car in a little valve. It was pretty ridiculous. Anyways, that's set up, and uh, brake lines are ran. I'm uh, just using copper brake lines. Only thing I'm waiting on before everything's done, before I can, you know, try to bleed the system is I'm waiting on uh, the soft lines for the rear. I, so when I bought the uh, brakes off eBay, it came with factory 94, 95 uh, soft lines, but the mounting bracket where it goes onto the axle, it's, it's just not gonna work. And uh, I could have fabbed something up, but the stainless braid uh, kit they have on LMR, it's pretty cheap and it just looks it'll look good and uh, once I get those in hopefully sometime this week then I'll be able to bleed the system and I will have my five lug and disc brake conversion done which would be awesome and then technically I could uh, I could put a seat in there and I could drive the car because I got all the suspension and everything done so the car will actually be safe to drive that's the real reason why I haven't driven it. Well, not the real reason. The real reason I haven't driven it is because the car is is definitely nowhere near being done and it's kind of a hoopty, but <laughs> it has no interior. But if I mounted a seat and if I wanted to drive around the block, I could. Granted, it's gonna need an alignment for sure. Um, but I could do all that. So, I don't know. It's actually coming together, guys. Underneath the car is pretty much new. Everything's almost new. And I gotta install the coilovers. I was doing that, I started doing that the other day. I took the springs out, took the struts out, and I saw the struts and it's not gonna work. Uh, those struts aren't gonna work with the coilovers I got because the flange needs to be a little longer where the coilover sleeve um, goes. So, I don't know. And plus, brand new, I, I was thinking about it, brand new coilovers with used old struts it's kind of a shame so I just went out and just bought the strange adjustable struts 
Uh, so those will work for sure. Cause, you know, they're strange and I have strange coilovers. So those will work. And then not everything will be new, which will be awesome. And these shocks look brand new in the rear. And I'm not really worried about those. Those are, those are easy to replace. And I'm probably not going to do coilovers in the rear anytime soon or maybe ever because it, it'll be fine. They're just, there's drag racing springs now back there. So that's, that's, you know, what I've been up to, guys. This car's slowly and surely coming together. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, got, oh, and I got the master cylinder, the 94, 95 GT master cylinder put in there and the uh, proportioning valve for the rear brakes. I got that put in there. So, yeah, guys, it's slowly coming together. I'm actually really excited about this car. Uh, it's a big, this car will end up being a pretty big project so far. I've done a lot to it so far. I've spent a lot of money, too much money, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's also a learning experience, and it'll be cool when I'm done. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but picture it with new, all new paint, um, bodywork. Obviously, everything will be freshened up, all new paint, brand new top. Uh, I'm probably not keep keeping the tint that dark on the windows. I don't really like that. I think that's way too dark for my liking. I know most people think murdered out windows are badass, but maybe it's just because I'm getting older. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And plus it does need to be, it, it, regardless if I kept it this dark or not, this, this tint job is not very good. So it needs to be redone anyways. I'll tint the windows. I'll probably do something, honestly, I'll probably keep it legal-ish. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when that time comes. I'll probably change my mind and go dark. But that is really dark. That is just insane. They're literally black. So, anyways, guys, that's 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 what's been going on. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching. Um, I know this isn't this. I haven't been posting a lot of two valve content lately, but. This is what I've been doing. This is what I've been working on. I'll post some two valve content soon. I uh, need to work on the tune a little more. I think I got a few, few more things worked out. Uh, car still runs good, don't worry. Two valve is great. Two valve runs good. It's actually sitting out front right now. Um, but yeah, this, this is the new, this is what's been taking a lot of my time up lately. So I wanna get this car, get this car done, or get the body work done and everything before we do engine work because this is going to be a turbo car um, so yeah I'm, I'm excited for that, that's going to be really cool once I start doing stuff like that, it's going to be sweet uh, turbo car and uh, keep it in auto I'll probably put a C4 in there and build that because right now it's got an AOD so yeah guys uh, thanks for watching peace out, keep on keeping on